Uh, Rachel, nice to see you again. Thanks for taking the time to see us. Always a pleasure. Can you tell me about Waddle Nest, what you do and where the idea came from? The Waddle Nest was born to really help with athlete empowerment and to provide an avenue to mitigate some of the financial burdens our elite athletes are facing in chasing their dreams of representing Australia. Most Australians, and I'm guilty, I was one of them many years ago, think that all of our athletes live a very, very glamorous lifestyle that is fully funded and they get paid to do something they love and see the world. And as you start to go behind the layers and um, hear these stories of absolute sacrifice, absolute determination and overcoming great adversity, you start realising it's not terribly glamorous at all. And I believe that we all have um, an opportunity to help you sport as a true connector within communities and help mitigate some of these financial barriers so that our athletes can, can continue to focus on doing what they do best and help inspire the next generation of talent. To the athletes, so please can we take time and ask you to introduce yourselves and please tell us a, a little bit about your sport. So I'll start with Jess. Uh, my name is Jess Borg and I'm an Australian Taekwondo and a new, newly um, boxing athlete. <laughs> so I've been doing Taekwondo for 18 years nearly now. Um, I'm a black belt and ranked number one in Australia at the moment. Um, in boxing, I had my debut fight a couple of weeks ago and won that, which is really exciting. Um, and I was talent identified for that one. In addition to archery, archery and skateboarding. And skateboarding. <laughs> yes, two very random sports <laughs> for me. But yes, it's, I'm on a new journey. Um, to qualify for the common game for boxing in uh, Paris for Taekwondo. Hey. Um, I'm Dante Mariner, I play for Brisbane Strikers. I'm a football or soccer player and yeah, I've been playing for a very long time now. Um, I started when I was six and I'm now 23, so um, don't remind me how old I am, but hopefully, you know, we can get somewhere soon. My name's Ruby Harris, um, I'm an Australian hockey player. Um, I started playing hockey when I was four, mum said picked up a stick before I could walk. Um, but yeah, I'm playing in the under 21 Stillaroos team and um, my goal would be definitely to represent Australia at Olympic Games. My name, my, yeah, my name is Sarah and I'm a bobsleigh athlete. I have been doing bobsleigh for four years now and before that I did track and field. I was a 100 metre sprinter for about nine years. Um, so yeah, I was recently an alternate at the 2022 Beijing Games, but my goal is to actually be competing at the next two games, Olympic Games, hopefully. So what are the unique challenges of your sport? Um, so just... It's a combat sport, yes, and you get in a ring with another person and you are trying to kick and punch each other, but it's a, it's a chess match. Um, the technique, it's so structured and it's so technical and the way you place your foot or the way your hand is when you're punching someone to get the score, to make the correct contact. So it's not just getting in and kicking and punching, it's, it's, like, it's like you're playing chess. A unique challenge of your sport? I think uh, everyone thinks that football is a team sport but at the end of the day it's a little bit individualized as well. Um, I think if you're not performing at your peak whether it's you know making that extra run or you know putting that little bit more effort in to, to do the job for the team um, it comes undone and things don't work so um, I think a lot of people don't really yeah they don't really understand that that's that so you have to make sure that you're you're at your peak, whether you're not feeling like it or not, you have to you have to do that little bit extra to get the result for the team. Um, and for hockey, I think similar to Dante playing soccer, um, as it's a team sport and also individualised multiple trainings for both individual sessions, team sessions, gym sessions, conditioning sessions, on pitch, off pitch. Um, so yeah, it's really a heavy schedule um, and definitely hard to fit around obviously work or studies um, and things outside of sports so yeah it's just demanding and um, yeah just important to I guess train all the different areas. And Sarah obviously you've just taken on a, a new sport so obviously what's unique about that? You can't do bobsleigh in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone asks where you do it here in Brisbane but you don't so I spend half the year overseas and half the year here. Um, there are some really good facilities overseas just before the season actually starts where we can train but hopefully we can get some of those in Australia eventually but I mean it is it is nice being able to spend a lot of time over in Europe but we don't get to be a tourist it's pretty much hard work all the time so that's probably the biggest challenge for also recruiting people as well they have to want to spend a lot of time overseas. What does the Waddle Ness and the Data3 sponsorship mean to you? It's been huge to me um, that financial support takes that burden off 
worrying about, you know, if you have to do an extra session, you can, you know, work isn't an issue uh -huh. kind of thing. And traveling, you have the funds readily available to go overseas. If you have to do a, like a last minute comp to qualify, you can afford to pay for that comp and it takes that stress off, which is amazing. Rach, everything we've talked about has just been amazing and you're doing a fantastic job. But how can people and our partners help Automist? First of all, the help that Data3 has provided has made a positive impact already, which you can hear from these athletes sharing their stories. As you know, Australia is a sports obsessed nation and I think it's all about story sharing. The more people that hear our story and hear the impact we're making, the more people that will come on to the journey. In fact, we're in a situation now where four athletes every day are reaching out to us to be part of the Waddle Nest project. So that to me confirms that there is a tremendous opportunity for corporate Australia and businesses to be become part of a really impactful project leading up to our 2032 Olympic and Paralympic home games. So a very, very exciting time. There's a number of ways corporates can be involved. They can provide um, learning opportunities for our athletes, pathways to help them fund some of their international tournaments, and to also offer their staff unique team engagement experiences. To Rach, if you want to know more about Waddle Nest, where do you go? So we're really, really pleased to have been producing a TV series called For the Glory. We've already filmed 55 ep episodes that bring our athlete stories to life. And if you'd like to know more about those stories or reach out to me, go to our website, which is just waddlenest.com.au.